Hey guys, Apple just released iOS 5 Beta 4 to developers and um, we got our hands on it and it's actually the first over the air update uh, compatible version of iOS ever. And so we're gonna give you a look at what it looks like to update your iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, any of those iOS devices over the air without using iTunes, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so I just want to give you a look um, at the iOS 5 Beta 4 update process. So iOS 5 Beta 4 was just released today, and um, the cool thing about it is actually the first beta, the first uh, iPhone beta or software ever, to be released that supports over-the-air updates. What that means is that you no longer have to connect the phone to iTunes, download the update after checking for an update, um, you know, apply the update using iTunes, wait for it to process and all that. Instead, this is a new feature of iOS 5, we'll be able to, I'm running beta 3 right now, which is a little slow, we'll be able to go into the general preferences here and um, software update. And as we go in there, it's going to check for the update and it should find one. Let's give it a moment. So apparently it takes a while to find the update, but there it is. iOS 5 Beta 4, it's 133 megabytes. Um, as you can see, it says it contains bug fixes and improvements, and it's the first version available for over-the-air software update. Um, let's see, now it says it needs at least 879 megabytes of available storage, which I do not believe I have, so I'm gonna go real quick and sync this phone with my computer to get all the all the uh, stuff out of the camera roll and I'll be right back and I should have uh, enough space and we'll start the installation alright so I'm back I went and um, took a bunch of stuff off of there and I should have enough space now to do the update so again we go into general go into software update Just gonna check for the update again um, and I should find it uh, real quick, we just want to thank our sponsor. Our sponsor is Carbonite. Carbonite provides online backup services. Um, if you've ever had a situation where your computer crashed and you didn't have a backup, this kind of solves that and it keeps your backup um, off-site. So you can try Carbonite. You don't even need a credit card. Just go to Carbonite.com. You can get a one-month free trial. Or you can get a two-month free trial when you get a go to Carbonite.com and use promo code TPN, letter T, letter P, letter N. TPN will get you two free months trial at Carbonite.com. No credit card required. All right, let's jump in here. So as you can see, uh, the only option aside from it, um, well, the only option I can tap on is download and install. So it gives us some background. I'm going to hit download and install. There's some terms and conditions. I'll say I agree. And it'll be 133 megabyte download. Um, so it'll just start that download process. Show us some estimated time remaining. I'm going to assume that'll take, uh, as you see there, a couple minutes. Um, I do have a pretty quick connection here in my home. I have a FIOS connection, so it is 35 megabits down. So it's fairly speedy, um, but I do think it'll take a little more than the minute that it's showing here. Um, but once that's done downloading, um, then we'll see what it looks like as far as the um, installation process. Again, not hooked up to the computer, not hooked up to iTunes at all. It's just an over-the-air update downloading right through the internet over Wi-Fi. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. So we'll just give this another minute to finish up, and then we'll take a look at uh, what happens next. All right, I've got um, iOS 5 Beta 4 all downloaded. It said it had about one minute left to download, and it actually took about an hour before it told me that uh, it was ready. Um, and I'm not sure why it's rebooting. If it's because it's it's up it's updating it itself, but I didn't hit that uh, update button, or the phone may have just crashed. I'm not sure. All right, so it rebooted or it turned off, and this is what this is what came up. So this is obviously, if you're unfamiliar, this is what it looks like when you're updating your iPhone. So even though I didn't tell it to update, it actually went ahead and rebooted itself to start the update process. Um, and again, it's not plugged into anything, so it's not in iTunes. Um, I downloaded it over the air, over Wi-Fi, 
it took about I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour though for that uh, download to complete despite having a really fast Wi-Fi connection here. But now we're just going to let it run and uh, see what happens. And we're back in. So um, that took maybe two minutes um, to boot up. And I'm just going to go in and verify the build. Version. Here you see 98524D. That is iOS 5 Beta 4. So the upgrade worked. We are, we'll check for updates here. Should say no updates. There you go, we are up to date. And that is pretty much it. So, um, and this will even work on 3G. I did it on Wi-Fi here. 3G obviously would take a little longer than that um, to download everything. Um, but as you can see, now if a new iOS update comes out, you can actually install it on the go without a need for um, a computer, a sync cable, or anything else like that. So that's pretty much it. Until next time, I'm Andrew Edwards. Stay tuned for more tech news through the